Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to George Mack Plays the Classics. Wonder Boy has you playing as Tom Tom, who's on a quest to save his girlfriend, Tanya. The Woodling King has stolen her, and it's up to you to traverse ten areas consisting of four rounds each. There are fourteen different locations for you to play through. They're chosen at random, so you won't have the same game twice. Tom Tom can run and jump. During the course of each area, he will find eggs that can be cracked open. Inside of them, he'll find one of three items. The first is a hatchet, which he'll be able to throw to defeat enemies. Another he can find is an angel, who acts as an invincibility item. With her active, you can just run through the enemies on the level. Lastly, Tom Tom can find a skateboard, which makes him move slightly quicker and doesn't allow you to go backward. Tom Tom has a vitality bar at the top of the screen that slowly ticks down. In order to replenish it, you need to collect fruit strewn about the stage. This is also important because if you accidentally hit a speckled egg, the god of death will follow you, like an angel, but will drain your vitality much quicker, causing you to die. Tom Tom needs to collect 36 dolls in order to progress to the end of the game. This is a long task to complete since some of the dolls are invisible. Tom Tom jumps with the two button. He throws hatchets with one button, and if you hold it down, you run. Tom Tom is very floaty in his movements, which will cause more deaths than you will be happy about. But it is what it is. At the end of each round, you fight the Woodland King, and his head flies off and changes after each defeat. When it comes to grading Wonder Boy on Sega Master System, graphics get a 2.0. I think it's colorful and mostly well animated, other than the bats. Sound gets a 2.0. Music is average, as are the sound effects. Gameplay gets a 1.5. You get a lot of cheap deaths because of the controls. I would have preferred the vitality bar to act as a life bar. Difficulty is a 2.0. It's tough, but the length of the game is going to put you off before you complete it. Fun Factor gets a 1.5. Slightly less than average. I got irritated after an hour of play or so. Overall, Wonder Boy on Sega Master System gets a 1.8 and earns a C. We'll see if Hudson does better with Adventure Island, which is the NES port of this game. Well, thanks for joining me for today. Please like this video and subscribe to Head Drop Productions on YouTube. So we want you here with each and every video release we have, because it's your destiny.